scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Mike said something that was very striking while the worship team were ministering. And he said, Koinonia teaches you that you can get many things. But then he said, the highest, paraphrasing the greatest, is God. There are many things that are available in the kingdom. Prosperity is available. Influence is available. All of these great attributes are available. But the highest pursuit, the highest, the apex of your pursuit must be God himself. Hallelujah. When you get to a point where you seek any other thing above God I don't care what it is it has become an idol at that exact point are we together so we must be careful and we must guide our pursuits so that at no time are we found consciously or subconsciously pursuing anything that is above God every other thing becomes relevant only when the position of God is healthy and secured in your life. When the position of God in your life is threatened by anything, regardless of how legitimate it is, then you're already walking in a danger zone. You must make sure the position of God, please pay attention, is secured beyond disturbance secured beyond disturbance that nothing in life has the capacity to disturb his place in your life you only become a winner when that is in place regardless of what you seek regardless of what you want believe me brothers and sisters it is totally mundane if it makes god secondary i don't care what it is if at any point any other thing you seek has the capacity to push God and you are not afraid of it pushing God you are already losing something God's position must be secured beyond and above contention hallelujah it says and this is eternal life to know you the one true God this is eternal life not to have money money is important this is eternal life not to have anointing anointing is important right it's very important to know him to know him to know him hear what paul said that i may know him it didn't say that we may know him that i may know him that's my cry that's my passion that i may know him when a believer loses fire for the pursuit of god it is the clearest sign that your life is under attack you don't need to find out whether you are sick or not the moment you find out that your passion for god is dying you don't need any other sign your life at that point is under serious attack and calls for emergency pray this prayer before we continue tonight and say lord be seated at the throne of my heart let it be a position if anything has threatened your position there i i use my will and i secure your position as lord as lord not occupant 
as Lord, not tenant, as Lord, as Lord, don't be seated in the throne of my heart as a co-occupant, as a co-tenant with something else. Let your position be secured beyond intimidation. Are you praying? It's a very powerful prayer. Very, very powerful prayer. Lord, dismiss the things that threaten your position in my heart. They are not worthy of my life. If they must threaten you to bless me, then they are from the devil. If they must threaten your place in my life to bless me, then they are of the devil. Any desire in my heart that cannot submit to you, I throw it out. I throw it out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very powerful prayer. This is the reason why people worry. Let me tell you something about worry. Um, come, promise, or anybody, come. Do you know? I'm talking about a number of things today, but I just, I just felt to start out with this. If this guy is dying of stress, worry, because that's what is happening to some of us, that's what is happening to our families. People move around frowning their faces, no joy, no peace, no fervor. You ask them why. And they will tell you look life you know how life is and they think it is an excuse are we together now listen let me teach you something very powerful hold on Mike do you know why people worry the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership they have an understanding that until they own a thing and they feel the security of that thing around their life, their life is not guaranteed. So they worry. Are we together now? Yeah. They worry. If I transfer one million naira to your account now and all of a sudden you start dancing, watch this. You are dancing because your phone showed you a figure are we together now watch this five minutes before that alert god already told you i will bless you but you are still saying oh god I, I know while god was speaking you know that money was still available but because it was not within your possession you are disturbed about it let me tell you something when you learn to hand over your life to god are we together worry will die a natural death which of you by worry in the bible says can add one cubit to his head you see someone of 20 years looking 45 you ask him why i say why won't i worry won't i eat now does the worry bring food one thing i know that does not add anything to your life anything at all to your life is worry it causes stress causes pain makes you to get angry you can just see someone looking blessed and happy and say, so why is he smiling? Just because you are worried. Are we together? Say, I refuse to worry. Oh. Prophesy to yourself, I refuse to worry. Who knows, probably this is already a word for someone. You are killing yourself with too much stress. People are sleeping in the night and the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep. You have refused to receive it. You wake up and sit down and you are just thinking my life is this how it will be see those kind of thinking are not scriptural there's nowhere in the bible that is recommended that people should wake up in the night to worry you wake up to pray you wake up to study you wake up to dance and rejoice before god the bible says this it says um rejoice in the lord always and again in case you've forgotten i say rejoice are we together Turn and speak to your neighbor and say, Worrying will not solve it. Tell them, Try rejoicing. 
one more time say worrying will not solve it it doesn't matter what the problem is worrying will not solve it so try, yes you try joy joy is not laughing like a clown joy is a settled a settled um confidence a sense of merriment that comes from understanding that the person you submitted to is responsible very responsible are we together you don't take the part that is your own and the part that is god's own and join and kill yourself his load is not your load he gave you the your own part of the deal according to your size don't ever wonder how things will happen the bible says the same way you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord in other words you don't know how god will make it happen it's never your business your business is to know that god said it i believe it i will no 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 that doesn't settle it that doesn't settle it i believe it i act because i believe it by acting i commit his integrity then it settles it see you don't say i believe it and it settled it how many people have had their lives unsettled because of the of course i understand that those who say it say it from a very fair point believing does not settle it at all forever oh lord thy word is settled where not in your life it takes faith to be settled in your life hallelujah so don't wait until you see things before you are confident right now as you're seated here god is already speaking to someone to bless you but if i say it you won't believe it until you see an alert if i say god is touching you now you won't believe it but when somebody shouts and scatters the chair you say wow something is happening here it looks like it is powerful but it's carnality you must rise to a level where you are governed by your confidence in god's word you understand manifestations are wonderful but if i tell you god is going to bless you and you okay where is it the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -mm, not just life. Life and what? That's why people worry. It's no peace. No peace in their lives. I will never, never worry about anything. I think, I plan, I take responsibility, but not to worry. Worry does not solve anything. Worry is a sign of unbelief. In fact, truthfully speaking, worry is sin. Are we together? Yeah. What is sin? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you should. Uh, are we together? Because this one, you are not missing the mark. This one, you are disbelieving God. God said it, and you say, God, I don't know what you are talking about, but make it happen now. And God says, Me? You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone And right now To the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone Hallelujah. Listen I, I, Let me just say this before we go to the discussion of tonight Many people Listen, many people's confidence Are tied to to their perception of your joy you, you you cannot walk around as though i'm not making it or i'm just laughing but i'm not making do you know if i come here frowning and i say we're in trouble do you know how many people will be discouraged just by this look you say ah we're really in trouble oh no imagine that i come here i'm just frowning i whisper something to pastor jakes and Jimmy, and then the protocol go outside we come back you will just get up and carry your bible and say something is happening see one of the principles of leadership is that people reflect who you are. You have to know this. Are we together? Yes. People reflect who you are. You are an angry person, always frowning as if the whole world is on your head. Very soon you start reproducing yourself. You are going to see a group of very wild and angry people. No. Jesus is alive and he's in control. Hallelujah. The Bible says righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost will characterize the presence of the kingdom. 
please avoid worry i just added your life i added your age by this little 10 minutes talk you will want to know how many people die for nothing just because of worry where will my school fees come from where will my house rent come from where will whatever it is come from when will i buy the car when would this anointing thing land on my life i've been praying does it take this long about this thing should have been working by now no. you have to believe him hallelujah tonight you will be mightily blessed mightily blessed in the name of jesus i want you to we're going to pray in tongues for two three minutes or so hold on i will direct you before we start because i want to teach you tonight on spiritual intelligence and believe me it will change your life we will not finish it we'll just continue it as a series but i want to open your eyes to a lot of things we have to grow and trust god for capacity for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord for the way for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord one more time for the way One of my goals by the grace of God is to help us become very spiritual. Very spiritual. Because the Bible says to be spiritual or to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The epicenter of your success and progress in life is your capacity spiritually, both in terms of who you are becoming and what you know when you know god you are really spiritual when you understand his ways you are really spiritual hallelujah praise the lord spiritual intelligence there are a number of things that i'm going to be talking about um it's a discussion really we're going to just be talking about a number of things um but the goal is to open our eyes and to cause us to be spiritual to discern the happenings around us and to be able to know how to respond to life accordingly spiritual growth as we have been taught again and again is measured by two parameters parameter number one is how much you are conforming experientially to the image of the Christ the Bible teaches very clearly how that conformity is an index that shows an individual or a people are growing so if you want to measure whether or not koinonia as a ministry and individuals if we are growing as individuals um, first you look at our degree of conformity that this gentleman started coming for koinonia for instance last week and we are able to measure from last week to this week what has happened in his life has his appetite for god been heightened you know we had some very um emotional times yesterday i think with ejimi and mike he was over at my place and then um we had some really lovely discussions and we were just reminiscing on how we all started with god uh as against some of the fear enough that people are having today we discussed how the ministry started and how god has been able to help and um we, we said a lot of very interesting things um back then every night was a project on someone praise god every night you were not trusted if you were not filled with the holy spirit with a personality that can vouch 
for you it's not that you just come from nowhere and just say um no 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 that time somebody had to get you born again filled with the holy spirit and there was a community of believers that guided your growth so the possibilities of varying off was very fine very the there was an environment of people and then i think one of the things that helped us to grow you may want to learn this is that we had a covenant of accountability i think is one of the things most people do not have a personal covenant of accountability what that means is that you covenant with your life that you are not going to deafen your ears there has to be someone who is able to challenge you you don't come back home by 11 30 with no explanation and say it doesn't matter no it does it matters covenant of accountability are we together now we look at your life one week you have not prayed to the hearing of anybody you can't say you are meditating for one week your prayer is not to the hearing of it somebody has to ask you are you okay are you sick do you need help so it was very easy even those who didn't want to be serious with god the plane was moving so fast there was no way when people got born again within one week just one week their lives would change now of course we cannot be that meticulous uh, because we are so many now what i'm saying it is it is important for you to know how god started with us the reason why many people don't grow spiritually is because they don't follow the formula for growth they do it haphazardly and carelessly praise god so that's the first index your conformity your conformity conformity to christ conformity jesus is the reference of what the believer should look like so when you find out that your growth process is making you look like any other thing outside of christ you need to review what you are looking at and what you are listening to the second parameter for growth is access to light light and understanding your comprehension your understanding understanding is everything in the kingdom understanding is everything in the kingdom understanding is what defines the limits of your life and destiny please pay attention understanding is the reason why you may enjoy a quality of life that is superior or otherwise understanding is very very important when when satan comes into a person's life he tries to destroy your understanding destroy your understanding that's why you see that we we emphasize understanding hallelujah we live in a world where many people are largely ignorant of the systems of god many people are ignorant of the personalities that are on earth both spiritual and physical many people are in ignorance as to the implications of living and the implications of interacting with our realm some years ago maybe four years or so five years four five years i preached a message called spiritual perception and i thought how that your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must and should be activated and deployed to help sustain your spiritual growth you must be able to sense the impulses of the spirit to know both the speakings of god and the movement of god and so god has created provisions within us to help us tap into his speakings and tap into his responses the the summation of all those things is what the bible calls discernment the capacity to walk in the impulses of the spirit are we together now praise god but most people largely do not have that understanding and um it has really destroyed our lives the first thing i want to discuss tonight is the spirituality of life the first mystery that we want to look at everybody write this down life is spiritual everybody write it down and then we we'll say it life is 
spiritual say it after me life is spiritual therefore living must be spiritual see if life is spiritual then it no no no, no I'm, I'm talking now if life is spiritual then it's foolish to not factor in the realm of the spirit as you attempt to live many of us believe life is intellectual so we think that the moment you are educated as, as as far as we know education to be the enlightenment secular enlightenment we believe we are ready for living other people think life is just biological so the older you grow you think your growth is qualifying you for living are we together other people think life is sociological so the more you know people you believe you have what it takes to live but i'm telling you this life is spiritual find out how many people's destinies have gone in shambles because of their not having this spiritual intelligence that life is spiritual everything brothers and sisters about life is spiritual you go back to the book of the beginnings genesis and everything is spiritual everything spiritual in the beginning the bible says god created now that is that is i tell you we can dwell weeks just talking about genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning what beginning god created the heavens and the earth so where was he because he created the heavens he created the earth meaning he was not in any of those places where was he the bible calls him dwelling in a place of unapproachable light governs the affairs of men from that standpoint god created not invented the earth was not invented the heavens were not invented they were created created with the intelligence of a superior being so it's foolish to walk upon the earth wondering if there is a synergy to the happenings of things life is spiritual the earth upon which you walk is spiritual you as an entity is spiritual unfortunately only witches and wizards know this are we together now only the people who destroy the destinies of men in villages know this the average believer is generally aware of the spirituality of life but has not come into an understanding that one of the keys to spiritual intelligence is to come to terms with the fact that life and everything about it is spiritual life and what everything about it no matter how trivial no matter how scientific spiritual hallelujah spiritual when you understand the spirituality of life then all of a sudden you will start seeing a line connecting dots as to the happenings of people's lives listen a man does not just get up and become poor like that a family does not just get up and not make progress just like that a man does not just beat his wife just like that a wife does not just beat her husband just like that the the source of that strength requires investigation are we together now a small child does not become so audacious that he looks at his father and says i can kill you no 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 no. The, the source of that audacity has to be investigated life is spiritual a church does not just grow members don't just carry their bibles from different points and start saying let's go to the same place without knowing themselves there's no wire connecting them you don't just open a shop and everybody from everywhere decides that they want to come to you no sir no sir life is spiritual you see men moving all around and you do not know what moves them spirituality of life someone decides to help you but you show up 
and something about your life you are not aware of makes the person to drive you away someone promises to marry you even goes to see your parents and all of a sudden introduction has been done he just comes up and says i had a strange dream i can't understand that's not the first time of having a dream but because of that dream you lose out on an opportunity brothers and sisters if you understand that life is spiritual you already without even understanding the nitty gritties you are already ahead of many people in life i will never treat my life from a scientific perspective no i will never treat ministry from a scientific perspective in the realm of the spirit one plus one is not two you have to define what one is you have to define what two is you have to define what other factors are in the equation we run our lives scientifically we run our lives intellectually sociologically and we become victims the book of job is full of mysteries that open up the reality of the spirituality of life when you look at the book of psalms david opened us to the spirituality of life when you read psalm 91 he starts by saying he that dwells in the secret place question where is that location today because david said a man can dwell there have you found it where is it like an address david is giving us an address where people can find safety and he never said a police station he that dwells somewhere there is a place a man can stand that you become immune he that dwells in the secret place of the most high then the second shocking thing is shall abide not under the light under the shadow what is that abide under a shadow that means your shadow has a spiritual implication this thing you look at li listen 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 i'm not talking of all this moving around you and let you fall down that's i'm talking of something deeper you know physics just tells us when light is casted on an object it creates a shadow that's as far as you know but the bible says men can dwell under a man's shadow <laughs> do you love jesus we love the bible right so i mean you are not the way you are looking at me is as if i'm teaching heresy it's, it's right in the bible shall abide under he gives the shadow of god a three-dimensional explanation you can come under it then he says i will say of the lord he is this and that and that and that please give it to us psalm 91 let's look at it yes that's the song your influence is all over me verse 2 and i will say of the lord he is my what refuge and my fortress my god in him i will not trust so let's see why verse 1 and 2 is there verse 3 it says surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence look at all these descriptions they are description of strange things you don't see them with your optical eyes but their effects are as physical as anything verse 4 he shall cover thee with what stop hold on describe a man for me with a three-dimensional shadow and has feathers somewhere in his body which part of him has feathers because he was not just speaking a parable he says he shall cover thee with his feathers <laughs> then and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield that means in the realm of the spirit truth is not an information truth is a physical reality it's a shield you can hold it like i'm holding a tie truth is is, is an object relatable are you getting something now you will be so blessed if you pay attention to what i'm telling you five this is not even this i just want us to look at it just play around it it says because of all these provisions this is the only condition where thou shalt not be afraid because there is something called terror by night everybody say terror by night no matter how peaceful an environment is the bible says once it is night there is a mystery of darkness and terror listen the bible says we wrestle not against 
against flesh and blood but against principalities powers listen then it says rulers of darkness they don't they cannot rule in light the moment he's not talking of spiritual darkness the moment there is physical darkness it's a sign they are authorized to come out like animals that can only come out in the night so the bible calls it terror by night yet it's night time people like that's why people die in the night they that drink drink in the night where you see a man drinking by seven in the morning he's, he's a stupid man already something is wrong with his life but that's a, an acute complication no many things happen to people in the night the destinies of men are exchanged by night there are men that sit down and discuss they play the destinies of men like a chess terror by night not just um, terrorism as we know are you aware that there is such provision spiritual intelligence number one life spiritual mm. thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day have you ever seen them have you ever seen an arrow living somewhere but he said there are arrows that fly by day only God knows how many people it hits today because it flies every day you get up and leave your house and something happens please pay attention to what I'm telling you life is spiritual Job chapter 1 a meeting was being held in the heavenlies Satan now comes and a conversation is engaged have you considered my servant Job while they are discussing that Job is on earth minding his business and all of a sudden things begin to nosedive in job's life it's amazing how many people try to ignore the spirituality of life and expect to rise in life it's impossible it's impossible and more so this is africa you know we just pretend as i'm not talking of witchcraft the portals of Africa are open to spirituality. It doesn't matter through which force. I'm just saying the portals of Africa as a continent is richly open. Have you not heard of men walking back home and a hand slapped them? Have, have you heard of those kind of things? A real three-dimensional hand, but they didn't see it. You don't have to see it to feel it. Are we together? And the person goes back and all of a sudden one of us showed me a picture of his dad yesterday half of the leg had been eaten you can literally see the bones like that half of it do you know what happened he was sleeping a mystery happened he woke up and all of a sudden that leg physically there are many things you call sicknesses you don't even know where it came from I'm sick you go to the hospital they tell you there is nothing wrong with you they check everything you know the doctor even says stop coming here you are you are wasting our time but you know you are not feeling fine are we together mysteries that cannot be explained life is spiritual I learned this very early in life the spirituality of life the spirituality of ministry the spirituality of living when you know this your pursuit for God does not become you know every time you see somebody unusually zealous they just say Kai this guy I'm sure you are going to be a pastor or this lady I'm sure God is already grooming you he has isolated you and is grooming you to be a pastor's wife no the key to survival is to become spiritually minded please hear what i'm saying some of our parents right now ignore this and they are paying for it dearly there are mysteries in people's families they do not ex they do not understand life is everything spiritual when jesus came his birth was spiritual everything about it now look at this for god's sake a woman is minding her business probably imagining what dress will i wear for my wedding all of a sudden a stranger just appears 
Hail Mary. He didn't even say, what is your name, ma? Hail Mary. In other words, we have been watching you. Your name is Mary. We know. You don't have to tell anyone your name in the realm of the spirit. No, sir. No, sir. If God ever asks you what is your name, it's for a reason. I mean, it doesn't make sense for him to ask you what is your name. He wants to change it. Then that's when he will ask it. Yeah, in scripture, Saul, Paul, and all of that. But that they are asking you because they want you to supply an information. No, no, no. Are we together? Do you know? Let me teach you something. You can never see a spirit being and be the same. Whether a demon, whether an angel, you may never know what happens to you. Brothers and sisters, listen. If this is a shrine and you just run by mistake and say, oh, the wrong place, as you never will live the same. No, it's impossible. 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 You thought you ran too fast to be seen. The realm of the spirit is not like that. Please understand what I'm saying. If you know this, that you are coming for koinonia, you may be sitting outside, you will never feel bad again because you realize that, wow, this thing is that. It's just because we are, because of the physical comfort of maybe being inside and all of that, but it makes no difference. That's why you can be saying God is touching somebody and someone in the second overflow is flying there. You that you are close, you are now looking and saying, ah, God, you mean you jumped me? Listen, the Holy Spirit does not move with time and distance. Mm -mm. These two factors don't exist. No, 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 no. Like you say, I have to touch you before touching you. That's physics. In the realm of the spirit, you don't do that. Are we together? Are you understanding this? So you can never see a spirit being. Anybody that tells you he has been having encounters with spirits, I think you should respect that person, whether in a negative way or positive way. That I've had some appreciable and except if, if the person is lying, if the person is telling the truth, no, you are meeting a dangerous person for good or for bad. Most of the world leaders interact with spirits. Please look at me. Let me preach to you. Forget the fact that you see everybody wearing suit and going for forums. They are being advised, counseled, rebuked, directed by strange spirits. There are documentaries upon documentaries on my system that proves to you that no man let me teach you something brothers and sisters you want to be famous a day will come a spirit must show up in your life to say all right now that you have gotten to this level we have to negotiate for it to go further i give you a guarantee 100 percent if jesus does not appear to you an angel sent from god does not appear to you a demon who are somebody is same it's like a realm. You keep rising. Nobody disturbs you, but you get to a point. They say, okay, everybody that rises from here, right now, the realm of the spirit cannot be strange to such a person. That's why you enter a business meeting. Somebody looks at you. You look at him. Two of you know yourselves. Everybody knows what he has touched or otherwise. There is a level you cannot be neutral. Believe what I'm telling you. When you see people doing some things they are doing, they have seen something. When a woman looks at you and says, I will kill you, mark my words, you better take it seriously. Either pray or stand on the confidence of what you now know. But you say, ah, this is what you just, you would really die. Because you see, let me tell you, there are too many laws that can remove your spirit from your body. Many, many laws, many laws not just death there are many spiritual laws that can separate a man's body from his spirit any of them can be manipulated to kill you you see that sickness and accident are physical expressions of the commonest laws that are used to separate people's bodies from their spirits like you skin a cow have you gone to the abattoir you see them, they have a skill. They skin a cow. There is a mystery that can remove your spirit from your body. And many people move carelessly. And then it happens. It may happen through a car. It may happen through different things. But it is still a manifestation of this. You cannot sit on certain positions being neutral. It's impossible. I remember one of our friends years ago. He got a job and I remember him saying they were paying them 
them that were struggling, they were paying them 50,000 and they were paying the prophets 1.2. Now, it, they don't call it salary, they call it honorarium, but it's still a release of something from the giver to the person who needs it. They pay you 50,000 for laborious study of five, six years under the most stringent conditions possible. And somebody just throws and comes in and they give the person 1.2. You know why? Because that person has an advantage. He can do something. Hi! Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. I don't have to see you to talk to you. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. People's lives are being manipulated without their will. Life is spiritual. Many of us were born in pure Christian families. We never had any touch with idolatry. So you don't understand the spirituality of life. But for a few people who veered off here and there, did one or two things. Life is spiritual. Grandparents just come out and sit on the ground. And after a few minutes, they stand up. They say, it's all right. It will be well with you. Go. And you are saying, what did they see? Life is spiritual. In the Bible, before they fought wars, they will go and ask the kings and prophets, please, will we win? And then they will say, there's trouble. And then they will say, how can we change it? Now, this is the part of spirituality that shocks me. The ability to change things change things by the spirit like a cleaner i look and i find out that this is supposed to happen then you clean it as if there's nothing there Habba. oh you were supposed to die tomorrow then somebody just cleans it what advantage do you have do you understand that your life is spiritual when you sit down in that class, do you know that it's not just one person sitting down? Life is spiritual. Now, the, it's not to just make us irresponsible and just see demons in everything. When I talk of the spirituality of life, I'm not just talking about demons. I'm talking about the presence of spirits to guarantee anything happening. You, the concept of being an atheist is another class of deception. Life is very spiritual. You see a lot of people come to dig a well. After they dig a well, the water comes out. They will tell you, go and look for chicken. Has that happened to you? Go and look for chicken. They slaughter the chicken and make incantations in the well and the water will never stop coming. Think about that. Do you know the water on earth is older than everybody on earth now? I hope you know that. The water on earth is older than everybody on earth you are not drinking a person you are not drinking a substance you are drinking history this was only bottled only god knows who laid hands on this water could it be part of noah's flood could it be you just know you are just swallowing it and then your body just reacts you take something and all of a sudden your body reacts i'm comfortable Koinonia, listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you these things. If you do not understand it, don't be great. Just get a one-room apartment, get married, have two or three children, be a kingdom financier, and wait for the day you'll be with the Lord. But that you want to rise in this world we live in. No. We're traveling to Benin Republic. I think I told, when we got somewhere, a man, one Lenge guy, very Lenge guy, just looking, like all these smokers. He looked at me and he called my name, Joshua. You've seen them now. You see them in markets. They look at you and in five minutes, they start giving word of knowledge. You've not seen those kind of people. They look at you and say, Madam, uh -uh, why, is, uh, why is, is, is Joshua stubborn like this now? He said, don't disturb me. But because they mentioned Joshua, I say, who? <laughs> say again. Life is spiritual. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. It is written. I just appeared, but something has been written. A script. A script about your life. Written. When you understand the spirituality of life, 
then you also know that you have an advantage by the spirit to manipulate things to be consistent with the word of god in your life this is the revel this is where i'm taking you to when i understand that life is spiritual i don't mourn at physical results because i know that there is a loop through the spirit where things can be corrected are you seeing that now at that point i stop worrying because i know there is an advantage the advantage is my access my access to spirituality i can be assisted by a spirit being in this case the holy spirit listen one of my best scriptures in the bible is then the secret was revealed unto daniel a beast of a man just came and said if you don't tell me my dream and the solution i will kill you and he said king don't be hasty don't worry let's just go and sleep while other people were sleeping he knew that something happens to men at night the night is also a time for revelation listen you try praying in the night and try praying in the day if you pray seriously come and tell me the difference come and tell me the difference this is this this one I, this one is like my office i can tell you everything you want to know about it the night time i have sought out the mysteries of the night in a very strange way the magi came out and they saw a star and they started smiling they said a king is born not a child a king is born and they started going when they met herod they said um we came from the east based on our study we have books here prophesying and a physical star because in genesis chapter one he said he made the stars to signify times and seasons times seasons hallelujah so they looked at it and then it led them to the place and when they got there they saw a baby but because they knew that it was not a baby they started worshiping him if i if you are worshiping a jimmy's child won't somebody know that they say they want to kill your child a jimmy but now two three or well the bible doesn't say three men but we know magi came from the east and they are worshiping someone because they are seeing more than that and all of a sudden an angel appears and says run away with this child they want to kill him run quickly do you know why because jesus could die hmm. did you hear what i said the angel will not waste his time and say run away with that child if he could not die he could die if he if they disobeyed that angel they would have killed him the only thing is the body would not decay but he would die yeah he would die are we together when jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights satan was waiting very strange immediately he finished he just showed up now watch this if the devil is near you won't you drive him but hear him he's walking with jesus satan walking with jesus please come you are not the devil in jesus name say amen but watch this i'm minding my business and somebody appears and i look and say satan you again think about that this is what happened in your bible and he said ah jesus you are hungry turn this stone into bread and then he said it is written and he didn't disappear he didn't go he continued with another temptation he said jesus follow me let me show you something and jesus followed him your bible they went up the mountain he said look at all the glories of the earth hold on where is that mountain where a man can stand and see the glories of the world at once is it mount everest it's a mystery these guys just came out of the physical realm into the realm of the spirit and said stand i show you all the kings i have empowered this is it like a window like you just step out into a door and show jesus all the glories he said if you bow to me i will give you if you bow to me that is the mystery of the wealth of sinners if you bow to me I will give you satan does not need money he needs your bowing if you bow to me i will give you so when you say you want to be blessed and not bow uh -uh, he says no you can't eat your cake and have it 
your allegiance and then I give you every other thing. And you say, no, I will have it. Are you seeing? So you just get up and say, why are Christians not getting jobs? Now you understand. He took him and showed him the system. Bow to me. So you want a job, but you don't want to bow to him. You must find out what provision has been made. Because Jesus conquered him. Then he now took him up a cliff. And he said, jump down. He said, he shall put his angels charge over you. Look at Satan quoting scriptures. The guy you call Satan. By the way, let's not, it's not that we are talking about Satan. But do you really know who he is? Look up, please. Are you getting blessed? Am I boring you tonight? Who exactly is Satan? A guy with a horn? As Nigerian film has depicted? No. That's just to help you understand. Who exactly is Satan? Because according to scripture, we see that Satan is a person. He can be at a... Satan is not omniscient. Not all-knowing. The ignorance of Satan is clear from Genesis to Revelation. There are many things he did not know. Are we together? Number two, Satan is not omnipresent. Many times he's at a spot. He can't be everywhere. He's focusing on the issues that are most important. Question three, is Satan down, up, or where? Where does he live now, today? Because when we say down, down Satan, up, up Jesus, none of them is living up or down. That's not the address of any of them. It's not the address of any of them. You go up, I guarantee you, you are not going to see anything there. You see that? Because I hope you know that this, our realm, is suspended in space. Space that even scientists don't know. There is no reference to measure where we are at now. And it was concealed by the wisdom of God. You can't, you can't tell whether we're in the middle. What, where exactly are we? You call this solid. You are standing here now, but you are floating and moving around. Think about it. Yet the Bible says it has foundations. The earth, your earth. Jesus himself, or well, God speaking now, told Job that the earth has foundations. Who is Satan? Why does he make you afraid? Please look at me. Let, let somebody be delivered now. Who is that guy that threatens the whole world? Where is he now? If you call him, will he come? Are we together now? Do you know there was a time in the civilization of God's kingdom where Satan was not there? He was not even created. I hope you know. Satan has a creation date. He was not born, so he was created. Are we together now? Let me shock you. Number two, I hope you know Satan is not the most dangerous of spirits. Evil spirits now. No. Of course. The Bible never teaches that. That Satan is the most dangerous of the spirits? No. There are spirits currently now that were bound in everlasting chains. Now, as I speak, they could not be released because even the elect, if they are released, they may not stand them. Now, as I speak, there are spirits bound. But Satan is going to and fro. He's not part of them. I want you to understand this. You see, you disarm darkness when you have light. You disarm darkness when you have light. All through scripture, we see that demons can be told what to do and they can be told where to go. And under certain conditions, they must obey. Are we together now? So how does Satan carry out the advancement of all of these things? How does he do that? You see somebody who minds his business and you begin to pray for him. He's manifesting the power of God is upon him and he's vomiting something physical. Vomiting razor, vomiting this and that. Now that's an ugly scene, frankly speaking, but I mean, it's a shock. 
I've counseled so many people. I remember one gentleman who said they, their father took all of them for protection. After making incisions on them, God is my witness. They gave all of them two-two razor blade, physical sharp razor blade. The man said, just close your eyes and eat it. The guy said, are you joking? This is razor. And they said they threw it in their mouth and they were shocked. They didn't wound them. They didn't do anything. It disappeared. Nobody swallowed their own. Now, when a razor disappears in your mouth, you have to find out where it went to. See, after me, life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. There are people who end their salaries. Their physical money disappears. I'm not saying sickness took it. You kept 20 naira, you come and find 15 naira. Yet you are alone in the room. There are individuals that have strange visitations by men, women. Strange beings in the night. A spirit comes and then comes to sleep with you. Or do certain things and you get up with all kinds of things you have a dream that there was an incision you wake up physically with a mark with blood was that was that just a, was that a story a spirit having an affair with you in a dream because spirits are neither male nor female you understand so there is no reason why you should be having that let me explain to you the mysteries behind people's lives that they don't know pay attention to what i'm saying we live in a world that you must have spiritual intelligence there are four things i'm talking about maybe i'll just take this one today because i can dwell here and explain to you the mystery behind the happenings of people just like that life is spiritual all of a sudden in three weeks promise men start coming to your life to favor you where were they what happened before that they didn't come somebody spoke to you he didn't give you money he just spoke to you you didn't see anything leaving him it's not even that his saliva touched you he just said something to you and you left believing you carried something and you come out and people start treating you in a certain way say after me life is spiritual you had the testimony of that dear lady about the favor how many of you have been crying and your helpers are next door but they cannot speak to you but all of a sudden something happens and you begin to see people arise for you life is spiritual every one of you seated here as many as you are look at people standing outside and i say this with all humility human beings are not idiots nobody comes to stand outside in the cold and just watching because he's trying to what is so special about the man of god everyone say life is spiritual it's not just poster it's not just balloons there are mysteries do you know sometimes i watch people when i come for corner and i see people sit down i know that the spirit realm brought them even them they are surprised what am i doing here yet you are still coming spiritual Are we together when a lady gets married and all of a sudden her womb closes watch this what is satan looking for why is her womb closing she goes to the hospital the doctor say you are fine we've checked you you are okay or god we checked you you are okay but then the child does not come at all two years three years five years the child does not come and then all of a sudden they begin to have problems husband and wife and then everything scatters are we together and then watch this that same woman will live in defiance and go and have an affair with another man and get pregnant instantly instant that means it was never about anything wrong with her there are people who have seen people have prayed for people with hiv it's not that they lived a careless life no no i remember a testimony i don't know if it was here that was shared someone went to bed in the night all of a sudden a stranger appeared held syringe and told the person this thing inside it is hiv injected the person he woke up physically with hiv is there any amount of antiretroviral drug that will heal that person if the sickness came from the realm of the spirit medicine can only manage it 
the real cure the real cure will come from the realm of the spirit are we together families in disarray because they do not understand that life is spiritual there are people who will be driving driving going to their place of work at top speed the car will just lock lock in one position i've spoken with many people who had accidents you ask them what happened they tell you i tried to turn the steering i'm not a careless driver i did my best i was watching myself dying you know i've seen the spirit of death i know it it knows me i've seen the spirit of death so i know what i'm telling you it comes to hospitals in the night patients in wards and all of a sudden hovers round and all of a sudden people just leave and in the morning you come and find out so so person is dead there are times it will come over territories like a city like zaria like this it will just come it's invoked by powers they do incantations and invoke it it can loom around a territory for three weeks and there are ghastly motor accidents headache killing men a pastor just standing on stage preaching and he will collapse and die and then after a while when the invocation has fulfilled its reason for coming it quietly leaves you see it happen break forth thou fountains of the deep and we cadence you were mighty on your you reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Abraham, Abraham is returning from war, and all of a sudden, a strange man appears. The Bible says, No father, no mother. What kind of a man is that? Melchizedek just shows up and says, Abraham. You don't know me, but I am a king. A king of where? I've never heard about you. You are a king. Listen. Listen. The earth is not the only place that has kings. Melchizedek said, I am a king. Of where? Salem. An ancient city of peace. Then he looks at Abraham and said, I'm on assignment. Abraham gives him a tithe of all and he says Abraham I want to activate something in your life blessed be Abraham possessor you of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth listen you never see Melchizedek in the Bible again the next time Melchizedek shows up is in Jesus hold on the Bible now calls him a priest after the order of Melchizedek read your bible and see the strangers that met with men that we never saw again never saw again never saw again there are men who started churches when the church started growing one time all of a sudden spirits just appear to them i'm the power that controls this territory we can negotiate or this bishop oedeko said and said how that it, the Kaduna church was not growing still anointed still with power the Kaduna church was not growing and all of a sudden he said one time they were fasting and praying say life is spiritual and all of a sudden he came out and the Holy Ghost asked him to come out he said look and he looked and he saw a dark veil dark veil covering the people he said this is the veil that misinterprets what I am doing misinterprets it and he commanded it and it left he, he just left like that and all of a sudden members started coming what is the relationship between members and this have you not heard of people who want name kings and they bury their children correct they bury people alive and you just get up and come to fight them you die for nothing i was in mina last week and one of us the media person met me and then you know talking about the security situation around and he said something he said a particular village 
when there was war about to happen in a particular village that the people there said no problem that the people just carried their charms and came and lined it in front of the village mysterious substances started killing the armies one of them something ate his hand you don't know what it is those people they have it when the going gets tough they bring it out are you aware that life is spiritual are you aware that your life is spiritual when you know this it should not make you afraid it should give you the key to changing anything when you know that life is spiritual you will value prayer because you will know that when you pray among many other things you are changing things you are shifting things in the realm of the spirit my life today is a product of this singular revelation life is spiritual you never see me sit down and i'm just discussing physical things with people i may keep quiet and nod but i am reading between the lines and when i get it i say oh that's it we know what the problem is listen koinonia let me tell you the relevance of this understanding you never will try to fight physical people again if your roommate is fighting you all the time know that life is spiritual fighting your roommate is when you finish praying you find out that they are behaving haywire don't you know that there is a spirit that was watching while you are praying and now you are coming all of a sudden they will pour water on your bed because anger is a gateway in the realm of the spirit so the devil will try to rob you from joy joy with joy shall you draw that's why you finish praying and your father insults you that's why as you are living from koinonia you receive hostilities from people when you know that life is spiritual you will stop being angry and you will stop wasting your time let me tell you how many of us have aborted prophecy you don't know that life is spiritual the moment a miracle is about to come that's when you hear stories that five people said about you satan is moving through men moving through men the moment there is a breakthrough did you hear this about pastor jakes and then you are bitter and then you are angry and the demons say praise god this is exactly what we are looking for and all of a sudden the prophecy is aborted like a woman pregnant but there are those who understand this and the moment they are looking at you you say no no i know it's not you you are just a victim of the realm of the spirit so i ignore them and i keep dancing my way to joy listen when jesus was going to enter a city do you know how he said we should enter he sat down on a horse and said people praise and sing if jesus entered that city silently something dangerous would have happened he listened Do you know joy and laughter are weapons in the spirit look at me look at me let me share something with you sam if you are talking to all of us now and we start laughing and scorning you what happens to you talk to me do you know if i am angry at promise my joy is to see him angry when he's angry then what i have done to make him angry is working but when you see somebody that you are praying that something bad happens to him always happy and joyful it will disarm you the bible says why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing listen the kings of the earth they set themselves right against god as his anointed then he says he that sits on the throne hold on it didn't say he will fight first the first thing that happens laughter is an expression of joy hold on hold on that's why when people are under the anointing sometimes you see them laughing hysterically now you are not spiritual so you just think which kind of men of god are this that's serious breakthrough happening to them in the realm of the spirit there are people under the anointing you see them start dancing i'm not talking of they can't even control themselves dancing and you may not understand when they were going to take the ark back there was a formula it was always with singing and dancing I was I was sharing with you a Jimmy I'll just share it to help you I, I think it was um, um yesterday we were talking I got up in the morning about to pray and the Lord said no you are not going to pray you are going to dance before me two hours stretch non-stop that's all I did all I did I was so tired I, I said wait, wait which style now am I going to I mean what is all this but I knew 
I'm smart enough to know life is spiritual. Listen, listen. That two hours may be equivalent to 15 years breakthrough. Two hours. You reign, you ancient science king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient science king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Life is spiritual. Joshua chapter 1, 2, 3. They surveyed Jericho and all of a sudden he says walk around. Don't talk. Just walk around. What is the stupidity of walking around? Life is spiritual. You call it madness. A man is walking around once and then he says on the seventh day. Hold on. Listen. The Bible says the fence of Jericho, five chariots could stand on it. So even if you turn it, it will still become another fence. Are we together? There are people who are too big for breakthrough. They are too, they are, they are, they are, they are too carnal and scientific for the stupidity that spirituality requires. Life is spiritual. They moved around the seventh time. The moment they got there, he said, now, Tehillah, don't fight, shout shout and the bible says when they shouted listen listen hold on hold on hear me sometimes sometimes you hear people say give god a shout or sometimes you see about to minister and i tell you you are going to shout the name jesus you may think they are just formulas stupidly you see this is they once your mind if you allow people who are depraved and don't know God they will rubbish your breakthrough they will say what are you doing what what are you saying same thing with praying in tongues you are praying in tongues and someone sees you and say you too you are in this thing you are doing this thing too ah. you too you are you are joining them at your age you went to school listen listen I tell you I have mastered how to destroy Jericho in my life. I know the principles. Life is spiritual. When I found this key, I stopped wasting my time. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you how to come out of any trouble in your life. Should I tell you? Listen, after you finish praying, listen, I want you to laugh and dance. Dance is a strange mystery of deliverance. Strange mystery. Believe what I'm telling you. Dance is a strange mystery of deliverance. Dr. Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko and said, you claim we taught you faith, but how comes you are able to pack over 50,000 people for services? And Oyedeko said, I dance every one of those people to church. See, listen, there is a time to pray. But there is a time to engage other things are you getting what i'm saying the bible calls it the sacrifice of praise it didn't say the music of praise it's a sacrifice it will cost you but it will tear your heavens open listen you have not seen breakthrough till you know how to rejoice before god there's nothing i know that paralyzes satan like an expression of praise and joy is one of the seven mysteries God revealed to me. Seven mysteries. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me show you how men have commanded victory in their lives. When you don't know the key and you don't know that life is spiritual, you will waste your time. Cheap victories, you will never get it. I remember a woman who shared a testimony. Um, she was barren and then she started bleeding. She, she took him and then she started bleeding and she went to a man of God who happened to be a doctor true story and the man said ah madam Todd, right now honestly this this thing of course you know what that means it's it's over just trust God for grace and the woman said no I know what my Bible says the man said well you know I'm a pastor but I'm also a medical practitioner when he finished everything the woman said she did do you know what they say dancing vigil not not you put vigil and put songs 
and you are, she said she danced her way and that child returned from wherever he was listen if you don't believe what I'm telling you honestly you can go home Cornonia has finished for you this night so that you don't waste your time you are too big to engage these mysteries some things will never happen in your life never happen hallelujah there are mysteries when the devil wants to get your life he will use men listen every time you start seeing strange attacks it's a sign that something is about to drop be careful be sensitive bitterness will start coming are we together now betrayal will come all kinds of things they are demon spirits desperate trying to use men to look for access to sabotage and that's why you joy 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 rejoicing dancing all these things distract you till the miracle comes find a man who has refused to get angry i'll show you a winner i show you a winner a winner some of you all this i'm like that you will never rise beyond certain levels in our family we're like that if i'm angry should i not say it apostle i'm a human being you will sit there as a human being and die like men men mysteries this life is spiritual you are looking for rent and the rent has refused to come do you know there are times in your life there is nothing about you that can bring that miracle you are not expecting money from anybody there is no hope of anything coming those are the times you engage this you don't go around just saying sir the other day i spoke to you i'm still here is it that you are not seeing me no let god talk to them you talk to god you engage the mysteries and while you are dancing like a mad person do you know there are people between now and friday you will see the strange testimonies that will come in your life if you understand that life is spiritual this is the foolishness some of us have adopted oh we have been stupid enough to do it and god has proven himself in a very dangerous way when we were going for crusade remember when our car stopped let me give you a real testimony the car refused to move they kicked it it did not move remember we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed they kicked it all of a sudden we were tired everybody was discouraged steve strings just took the guitar and started playing that was how we started singing there are witnesses we kicked that car it started till we got to the crusade ground When you understand that life is spiritual you will know that it's not about your roommate this this is the only way to love people so there's somebody now that you are bitter against but you are turning your attention to the wrong person and you are giving access to spirits the devil expects you to see promise promise come pass this way and you just pass like that pulling your mouth and the devil says this is exactly what I, I mean i like this kind of people they are like robots anything we want they do but the moment you are passing and he's pulling his face and how are you ah that's it you disarm it's a little act but you disarm principalities and powers because life is spiritual life is spiritual your breakthrough is spiritual your husband is spiritual your wife spiritual your baby everything your exams spiritual listen 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 i'm not saying you should not read listen but i'm um, listen let me tell you the truth hear me hear me listen 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 let me tell you something no matter who you are a day will come you will sit down look at that paper and you will know only god can help me there is a key let me tell you what students do after exams and let, that's why many people fail they come out and then they go to somebody there's usually somebody saying what did you write here don't don't do that thing when you come out walk away don't i put five you say you put 11 they say how did it become 11 you didn't even put six you have failed the answer is five now let me tell you what that i'm not saying you should criticize people are you getting my point when that happens to your spirit all of a sudden you go back and say my god this is it it's over for me my whole life has finished you are helping the demons prophesy to yourself you are helping to speak whereas somebody else will know that honestly 
it's not that i'm saying you should be lazy but brothers and sisters of what use is the spirit if there's no advantage in the spirit world. there is an advantage we are not idiots believe me you dance an angel to your faculty you dance an angel to your department you dance an angel to open your file come on now dance your way to the admission list are you hearing what i'm saying please believe what i'm saying this is only one over four i came tonight to open your eyes stop interpreting the happenings in your life they they threw you out of the job don't sit there and say kai but these people even my uncle my uncle you you saw me it's not about your uncle there's something you can do about it stop calling home to listen to bad news after you listen close it and say lord i still see what you are doing i still see what you're doing are we together you hear a word and they say by the grace of god your husband is coming all of a sudden things begin to happen around you somebody just comes and says you said why are you putting this marriage scene on your head and all of a sudden you feel ashamed you feel embarrassed when a prophecy is coming you can't even lift your hands to receive it because you're saying they are seeing me they think i'm desperate for marriage they rob you of your joy they rob you of your peace you never get your miracle once you sit down then the devil uses anger you now sit down you are talking about other people's relationship and marriage tearing people down and sowing a seed that will have a boomerang effect on you because life is spiritual hear what proverbs says it says be careful as you speak for the birds will carry your words have you seen those birds before the birds will carry your words my life is spiritual my life is spiritual i cannot stop anybody from carrying charm but i can stop it from touching me i know what to do i know what to do I can't stop the spirit of death from standing on the road, oh Kai. But there is something, there is something that even if it's the devil that drives, he will drive me safely. These are not these are not empty talks. This is what dominion is all about. I'm training you. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. From now, when you walk out of this place, for some of you right now, there is a text message, a heavy insult waiting for you to read now hold on you now know that you don't just turn and call people devils but you just enter and your roommate who right now as you are here they are talking about you and the lord tells you should i tell you how to win buy five for life go and drop it and say people this is for you and you are saying uh -uh, god to be that much of an idiot no somebody that did this is this lady that stopped me from marrying she said something bad to one good military man who would have married me and god says buy malt a carton of malt and go and greet her or god will say wash their plates i know they dirtied your bed she just change it sing praises and wash your plates listen when you disarm powers you will see god rise in a fearful way are we together bitterness anger envy are more wicked than than anything you can think about they destroy you they are like a cancer that sabotages you many of our parents you know why they may never prosper they are angry at everybody there are people now if they see me coming i see people frown all oh, is he the guy that's him how are they getting money look at this 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 young boys and so the angel the grace for the blessing is authorized to live your life because anything you don't honor cannot be your inheritance are we together now what are they be careful oh all these young guys standing how can people be standing outside are you worshiping a man are you foolish don't castigate anybody but just know that those are joy robbers the moment they start speaking know that your blessing has left heaven and it's about to come and land in your life are we together life is spiritual let me just narrow it down so that we can pray the mystery of praise in a dance in a dance you hear me talking about this dancing thing 
I'm not a dancer. You don't have to be a dancer. But if you want to move forward, you dance anyhow to your breakthrough. Anyhow. You are too big to dance your way to breakthrough. I tell you, you are too big to have an open heavens. It will never, never open. Ask David. David the king. The custodian of mysteries. When he was dancing and rejoicing, his arrogant wife came and said, what is this? I'm not saying you should dance in a nude and an ungodly way. I don't know David's dance, but I know the dance that is not David's dance. Let me balance it quickly. I, I was not there with David, but I know the dance that is not David's dance. There are many dances around that is not David's dance. Are we together? David's dance comes from a genuine heart, not a heart of seduction and stupidity. David's dance is a genuine heart that is focused on God, directed to him. So let's, we're talking about David's dance here. David was dancing and the wife, who was too big, now came and said, what is this thing you are doing? You are a king. And David said, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know I was in the wilderness. Do you know what happened from there? The wilderness that brought me here. And I'm dancing and you don't know that I got you by dancing. Of course, it's a mystery I've been practicing. You are Saul's daughter. You don't even know how you just came like that. You came as an inheritance. The Bible may not record it, but I believe he finished his dance and carried his sling and went to Goliath. And said, have you done your own dance, Goliath? Because if you have not done it, you are about to go down. Hallelujah. I believe in the mystery of praise. Please hear me. The mystery of praise. Psalms 149, give it to us. One of the mysteries we'll touch this night. Because this is a year of triumph. And I'll be wicked if I don't share with you the secrets I operate in my own life. Psalms 149, please. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Listen. And praise him in the congregation of saints. Verse 2. Let Israel rejoice in him that had made him. Let the children of Zion be what? In who? Their king. Three. Let them praise his name. What? Let them praise his name in a dance. Let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. Four. We are reading down. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will do what? Beautify those who are humble enough, it will beautify them with salvation. Next verse. Let the saints do what? Be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their. Listen, hold on. Just stay there. Let me explain this to you. It says, while you are lying down, and all of a sudden, do you know it's when people lie down that the devil brings thoughts? I hope you know the pill is still there. And all of a sudden, oh, Oh Lord, you are good. Shabarato Kadia. I know you are faithful. I know you are faithful. Let the even on their bed. Verse 6. Now here is the warfare dimension of praise. He said, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. Next verse. To execute what? Vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people not by chasing them that while you are praising and dancing it is vengeance you are speaking in the camp of the enemy to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron there is something called the written judgment to execute upon them what hold on how do you execute it your own is to mind your business knowing that life is spiritual. I know they said you are not from so 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 tribe. They walk together and sack you. Don't go telling people to hate these people. Go to your secret place and start praising and see what happens in that office. Are we together? It says this honor have how many? The honor experience of expressing breakthrough there are some things that god gave apostles prophets teachers but he said this one this honor of experiencing breakthrough have all the saints praise ye the lord
cheap victories cheap victories by understanding life is spiritual and you carry all let me tell you another mystery carry all your challenges write it on a paper and dance before it put it on the ground and celebrate god before it like a madman don't worry just be that stupid and see what happens a child is not coming i know that me for sure i'm getting zero in this and that and begin to celebrate him celebrate him people will look at you and say what are you doing i'm praising him why what did he do no testimony you had start doing all these church things that people do like fools you're married you go and lock you and your wife and tell yourself we are dancing our next level when jesus was entering the city what did he do sat down on a donkey and had people praising and rejoicing it was that atmosphere it says psalm 100 please psalm 100 someone's life is about to change it says make a joyful noise hold on are you seeing another mystery joyful what hallelujah hallelujah listen praise the lord listen listen it didn't say make noise making noise is not good even for your health he said a joyful noise hold on do you know what a joyful noise is the revelation behind it i'm not just shouting as an idiot i'm showing you mysteries now praising a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands verse 2 serve him with gladness look at how many times god talks about this what is the protocol for accessing his presence come before his presence with not with mourning hold on oh god i thought the other time what well, don't give me any dream again if i keep seeing money in my dream and yet nobody sends me any alert are you not the god of heaven i've been serving in koinonia let me tell you what you are doing you are just moving backward believe me believe me you are moving backward because a a broken spirit dryeth the bones verse 3 know that the lord he is god it is he that made us and not we ourselves so have this revelation he said we are the sheep of his pastures he will not deny you anything there's too much gloominess and mourning that's why i i listen to the news just for the purpose of leadership but ask anybody who knows me i have no time listening to all this analysis and all this junk this and that is happening uh this and that dollar is one million to this i don't know what happened but all i know is that for with joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation praise the lord if god calls this year a year of triumph you must stop acting like mere men they can predict your life they know when money is missing from your life your face will show it anybody in this room that took what doesn't belong to him except i'm not a member of koinonia you think you are being spiritual but that's not how to disarm powers strange principles that will lift i'm telling you this principle of praise with a dance and a shout of praise is i permit me to use the word a wicked principle you want to see speed in your life do this and see what happens make up your mind complaining the bible says do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be called blameless children of god right the world is full of angry people do you know the classic sign that someone needs deliverance is anger anger offense everything offends you right now after koinonia they say turn and hug somebody you just turn and found out that they left you alone that alone is enough to bring anger are you not my partner why are you turning to the other person you are trying to say i'm not good enough you are giving the devil hold on don't laugh you are giving the devil access i choose to be a happy person oh. you come I'm, I'm i'm a joyous 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 he said rejoice in the lord 
and again I say again I repeat it Koinonia hear me many people will laugh at what you are doing but they will not deny the result the result will be strange I guarantee you I don't share my testimonies again so that it will not be as if I'm coming to Koinonia and all I'm saying but there are things I will share with you you will not be able to sleep that were gotten on the platform of engaging these mysteries let me tell you another strange thing the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy works with three things one a joyful noise listen you can never never walk in the prophetic without joy the spirit the spirit the true spirit of prophecy works with joy when i see angry people who say they are prophets it's a joke the spirit of prophecy let me tell you most people who do different religions do you know how they invoke the anointing upon mediums they play instruments they do music you've seen masquerades they are moving playing with fire somebody jumping on somebody and then they reach a crescendo when a spirit lands on the head of whoever is the medium and all of a sudden he starts prophesying are we together the prophet said bring me a mystery and as he began to play the mystery and said the hand of the lord came upon him and then he began to prophesy you shall not see wind you shall not see rain but the valley now that strange breakthrough no rain no wind but the valley filled with water are we together i'm telling you i have if i believe with all my heart that i have fast tracked somebody's life now with this revelation with this revelation call your parents all this complain all this complain my daughter when will you marry now is it that there are no men in koinonia is it that you are sitting outside yeah you don't you are not serving in any department you you think i don't know what people say all around this is just nonsense you can be in the third overflow dancing your destiny and somebody seated here huh god will force him to go and do something outside and see his destiny there so it's not it's not about all these games that people play no the favor of god can come upon your life you step into the office your director did not intend talking to you but you say um okay she was not in that list is her name there please add it you people should come and see me see even me joshua selman there are people who have helped that i didn't i didn't plan to i just saw the joy and the ecstasy no brother frown and come and see if i cause your problems no come with joy you are bubbling i'm not saying fake it but they are happy the joy of the lord is their strength you are compelled to bless them watch the visitors that come to your house somebody just comes and knocks are you around say please can i get cold water before i talk to you you are in a hurry for them to leave because you see let me tell you depression has a presence depression has a presence someone can step into your life kill your joy close your heavens and walk away we are going to sing before the lord for two or three minutes and command some fearful results fearful results fearful results fearful results but before we get there i want you to open your mouth and blast in tongues for the next six to seven minutes from the depth of your heart lift your voice and pray my life is spiritual my life is spiritual my life is spiritual shabras katabas kebarato shobra da bala da bala da ba shekete prakoto sodo bagada bala da bala da ba my life is spiritual skataparata kas kabariete kosoto bala da bala da ba life is spiritual life is spiritual life is spiritual so take it take it take it take it 
pray la kata paratos ko parata kashe lekete peteketos my breakthrough is spiritual my job is spiritual aka prata kata barata kete don't stop don't stop you are aligning your spirit for breakthrough so take 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 le koto pras kata balada 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 sabra tos kapra kata balada so pros koto parato seba sabra para kata baba kata kate en kretos kos ke parato so prege de balada balada hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord we are going to pray listen you are going to say father take away any carnal interpretation i've been interpreting things wrongly that's why the doors have closed i thought it was my mother i thought it was my father i obtain mercy and forgiveness for blaming people wrongly lift your voice and pray i obtain mercy for wrong interpretation I obtain mercy. I obtain mercy. Pray. Shakata barato so pekete, lekete cross kabarato so pekete, rabato so pekete shebere kotosh, embrata kata barato. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray this next prayer point with all your heart. Lord, the spirit of bitterness, anger, unforgiveness that has been tying down my next level, I cast it from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I cast it from my life. I cast it for my destiny pray pray so to go to barato sabaya ta it's a year of triumph it's a year of triumph la paka to katas kapratas ke ne ba shodo ra ke te ka ta ba la ba la ba la ba la ba bos so pronto so to prete barata Rakata parekata kosho bara bara, la kreto so prekete, e kreto so to bakata bara bara, rabato so prekete kete, rekreto so preto shaba bara bara. Alleluia, Alleluia. Was he praying? Lord, I challenge the spirit of fear and worry. Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. These spirits work like twins. Fear and worry. Worry about whether or not you will make it. Worry about whether or not you will get the job. Fear comes and then you start worrying. Will I ever marry? Will I ever have a child? Will I ever do well? They are dangerous spirits. Lift your voice and curse them by the God of heaven. I cause worry. I cause worry. I cause worry. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. I cause fear. You are of the devil. God has not given me the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you from my life. Hallelujah. Oh 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 oh
Alléluia. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. Hold on. Hold on, please. Hold on. Now, listen. Hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So that we can make progress. We are going to give God, listen. Hold on, please. We are going to give God three. I tell you, if you know the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit, just with this little dance, you dance. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Believe me when I tell you these mysteries are fearful instruments of deliverance. We are going to give God, hold on, please. We are going to give God, listen, hold on, hold on. We are going to give God three shouts, three sets. Hold on, I will direct you. Just three shouts from your heart. I know that it may not make sense to you, but when I say shout, I want you to rejoice and then the second and then the third shout you see what happened in jericho the walls of jericho you will be surprised Hallelujah. Hold on. Koinonia, hold on. Hold on. Just praise God. Just follow my directives. Some of you will not even be able to shout the third one. Hold on. Are you ready now? Listen. Hold on. Listen. It is not an ordinary shout. There is an anointing upon it. It's a shout of warfare. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe me. Believe me, you will command a level of results that will make you afraid. You are disarming powers beyond your imagination. Are you ready now? Fathers, we obey you. I pray that you honor your name. Put your name upon this shout. Shout number one. Are you ready? Now go ahead and shout. Keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. The second shout, listen, that we're about to shout is a shout of strange open doors. Hold on. Strange. Believe what I'm telling you. The anointing of the Spirit is upon me. A shout of strange, strange open doors. Are you ready now? That every closed door must swing open. Go ahead and shout now. Shout! Shout! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Open it! Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, listen. Hold on, please. Now, please, just follow me so we we'll conserve time. This is what I want you to do. Listen, please. This is what I want you to do. After the third shout, listen to me. After the third shout, worshipers, you just begin to play. I want you to open your mouth and begin to call things call things after the third shout hold on hold on after the third shout praise god i know we're all going to be excited but you try to stop the moment the third shout is just set the atmosphere for us 
I want you to begin to call things that be not. Call things that be not. You will be surprised, my brothers and my sisters. Are you ready now? Hold on. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have sent me to open up the eyes of your people. And Lord, I pray, I have done as you have told me to do, and I pray that you honor this third shout. The Bible says, after two days, he will revive us. He said, but in the third day, he will raise us up. Lord, let this be a shout of strange triumph. Let this be a shout of strange triumph. Strange triumph. Are we together now? Please make sure after the shout, whether you are on the, under the anointing or open your mouth and speak, call for things. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Shake it, take 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 it, Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. 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 I call it forth. The next level of my destiny. I call it forth. The gift of man. The gift of men, strange helpers. I call you, arise for me. Strange anointings. Strange favor. Strange favor. I call you for. I call you for. I call you for. Help from Zion. I call for speed to my life, speed to my destiny, speed to my life, speed to my destiny, break through to my life, break through to my destiny. Don't be silent, don't be silent, speak, speak, you are a speaking spirit, speak, speak. Every Jericho standing before me, you crumble. Every Jericho standing before me, every Jericho standing before me, every Jericho standing before me, I curse you by the God of heaven. I call for strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs. Strange revelations, strange encounters of the spirit realm, strange encounters with the world, a new wine, new anointings, new graces. I call for new mantles, new dimensions, heavier weights of power, heavier weights of grace. Hallelujah. 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 Fire is burning in this place. Listen. I want us to spare two minutes and rescue our families. Let them tap into this mystery. Begin to prophesy to the gates and say, I have praised on behalf of my family. I command that devil, you must go. I wage the warfare through my praise. I wage the warfare. Mato soto pakata. Rete kete kete bo soto malabaladaba. I command it. Let my family members go. I command it. 
cause delay, cause spiritual lukewarmness, wicked spirits, powers, by the mystery of praise, by the mystery of praise. Hallelujah. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify you. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you, you are worthy of my praise. So I magnify you. on your helpers wherever they are sado sata la kosheba rateke te kosoto koto marada balada ba anyone who has a word of prophecy to be your helper i put pressure on their spirits this night and i command them to show up for you 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 I command them to show up for you. Listen. Listen. Hold on. I want you to understand this thing I've been teaching called the gift of men. You've heard me say this thing. Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. If you ignore what I'm saying, you will never rise. It's not whether you may rise or not. No helper comes by themselves. They are invoked through mysteries. No helper. Their people are too busy to come just to help you. But after what you have done tonight, oh no. No, come on. Listen, listen. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Listen. I say it with every sense of humility. Over 80% of the people that so into this ministry, I don't know them. Some of them are not even koinonia people. I don't know where they are, any part of the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You don't need to know nobody. You just need to know these mysteries. Know them. The mysteries know the people. Are we together now? My only prayer for you this night, and I'm going to keep praying it until I see that result in your life. It says, Strangers shall come and feed your flock. Strangers. Listen, hold on. Many of you have not entered that realm. You have only entered the realm of those who know you, and so for their love, they help you. You have not entered the realm of the ministry of strangers. Listen, when the prophet met with, listen, when the prophet met with Saul, he said, Saul, as you are going, you will meet three men. He didn't say three relatives, three men, they are holding bread, they will salute you and they will give it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, men you don't know women you don't know people who don't know you from adam they will arise and favor you strangely they will arise and favor you strangely i command them to arise and favor you strangely hear me anyone here or any family that has been in the same position for a long time no ma you have prayed you have fasted nobody moves in your family it's like the devil has kept them in one place no job no joy no breakthrough in the name of jesus 
in the name of Jesus the same way he said I said before you an open door he said no man can shut I command the door to your next level open now I command the door to your next level open now next level of ministry next level of business exploits next level of strategic relationships receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah there are people who must show up in your life what you need from them is not money you need their credibility and endorsement listen some of us our helpers want to come but our helpers are afraid of us because they have never tested whether we have integrity or not so they need somebody who has the influence and the charisma who has vetted you to comment for you joseph of Arimathea had to tell he told herod he said give jesus to me you think if the disciples went they would not lock them up i will keep drumming this it's a revelation god gave me for you you need the ministry of men all this i can do it alone you need help oh let me tell you you need help there are families you need a helper everybody that has entered your family caused trouble and destroyed you because something called them your ignorance called them darkness called them disobedience called them who told you strangers cannot enter and help families make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of god make it a project it doesn't matter where you are now make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of god as at the time you are speaking you may not have where to live as at the time you are speaking there's no food even at home now to eat don't worry stand in faith don't fake anything there's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real you've heard me say there is no point faking anointing there is no point faking power in ministry you can stand and say lord as it is right now my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is but lord let something from heaven come upon my church and i stand in faith and i believe with you everybody you pray for is not healed everybody you speak over is not changed but no problem you stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future everybody looks like the past stand in faith i refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years say all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish you have to give god something the five loaves will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious i live in the consciousness of the jealousy of god over my life it's true i have loved thee with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness it's not just scripture to me it is life it is god revealing his intent to me this ministry will never go down it will continue to be from glory to glory it is true no 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 I, i'm being as honest and modest with you as as possible because retrogression has an explanation you can explain why things deplete 
you can explain why things retrogress and you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens hallelujah you are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laishiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family that is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell efcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become 
so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and god can lead you to an uncommon mentorship an uncommon anointing in six months you will receive a grace that is 15 years old <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> jacob collected esau's birthright he didn't know that esau was supposed to suffer seven years when he collected his birthright esau's own plus his own he served 14 years it's not about exchanging of women it's destiny playing out their family had delay i hope you know from abraham it was a challenge so both of the sons individually whether they was collecting birthright or not they would have paid their seven years watch this but jacob collected Esau. it only played out using women but it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed <laughs> for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed <laughs> hallelujah Amen. there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results 
every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too 
because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited through a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me 
if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we're going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, Shamana Katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence. Of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay i speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now i want to pray please listen i have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may god grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life it's not enough to rebuke delay you must obtain the grace for speed and watch this I'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people as usual you find people running by the spirit but I need to release that anointing father I stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year i declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed 
speed career speed I give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed hello madonna hallelujah mommy please look at me ma don't be embarrassed i don't know you but i'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family where are you coming from madam madam i'm looking at you i'm seeing river state where are you from states. Huh? states river state yes sir the lord says i should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. Every planting that is not of the Lord. I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name Naomi we have to hurry up I want to pray for the sick Naomi hello Kim Madonna ah, hello. the Naomi I'm talking about is outside where are you coming from come stand your name is not Naomi is your name Naomi what's your name Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God and I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it again I correct what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus this is what doctors say baby is breached in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I correct it now may you give birth normally like the Hebrew women in Jesus name let me pray Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Yes, were you backing a baby yes, that's why I'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person I want to pray for bring this little baby God is I don't know whose child is this your child but God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God she looks like a little girl in the name of Jesus what's her name Nicole, Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. 
Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now in the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady, the power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming please bring her quickly we have to save time in the name of jesus i pray for you come my dear the grace that will want to make married men disturb you look at me i come against that spirit now not only you there are five other people i'm seeing i don't know where they are but in jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you in the name of Jesus by the God of heaven I lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I hear the name Magdalene I don't know if Magdalene I want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping God you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November. A big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you. And I declare in the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya 
come. It's time for God to change your life. Please stand up. When did you come here? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. You came here. God is about to turn your life around. Amen. Glory. You are still coming. And you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights. Yes. In Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you. Amen. Your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny. As you are like this, looking at me. You have a political destiny in Kenya. And God, by his spirit, is going to make this happen. But another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is, is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace. But you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women. Notice this grace. God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing foodstuff and I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see not only that, I see women too. Women, God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it, go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go with this anointing, go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career and may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen. Whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. I know you've shouted in other months, but great deliverance, great deliverance is about to come your way. Father, I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online I declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out Paru Salikata barata operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results many people cannot get results but right now that door is about to open i 
and I stand by the God of heaven by the fire of the Holy Ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now 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 Mighty God, 
a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit I shift you in the Spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ madam God is turning your life around where are you coming from Kaduna stay in the name of Jesus break now in the name of Jesus be free now from everything that is not of God be free now something is breaking here something is breaking here something is breaking here Parush Ali Katosh I break it now I break it now I break it now I break it now by the spirit of the living God I break it now Mama I break it now I break it now sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as I pass here anything that is not of God is about to give way right now thank you Jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all times I come against you now in release them now release them now release them now release them now i'm seeing what looks like an altar right here release them now in the name of jesus Harusa Sikete. be free now be free now be free now be free now the spirit of delay right here is breaking breaking over someone's family be broken now in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life. In the name of 
of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry. It's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from, are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku. A-L something K-U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, please. Right here. There is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming on people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimension, new dimension. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim. May the power of God touch you. And perfect you now. And perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work now God is preparing you be faithful you will go but now is not the time you leave now you will suffer for nothing are you hearing what I'm saying 
Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress. In the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request where is that young lady that came out with one mama while i was praying for her there's a young lady that was wearing glasses i don't if if you are here you are the one what do you do you are going to be very wealthy come are you a lawyer huh is this your mother where are you coming from madam okay you are the reverse woman this lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy because I'm seeing you a lawyer and you are going to you I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people this is a lot of business people signing contracts helping people to process a lot of things millions huh? that's what that's where she is right now doing some things abroad she's what that's what she's doing right now where she works that's what she's doing now right now yes she works because i'm seeing god will just cause them to like her it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes sir. and i pray for your daughter and i connect her by the spirit amen in the name of jesus amen. she will find these people amen. and in the name of jesus she will shift her to another dimension amen mama god is saying i should tell you forgive does it make sense to you and also he's a lawyer but your husband is a lawyer yes but... what was the issue nothing is happening don't worry ma do you know why you fell under the anointing you fell on behalf of all the troubles in your it wasn't just your personal falling alone there are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what i'm even saying god is saying i should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and god has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace 
that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that God will do in the life of this man. Let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the Lord. I decree it and I establish it in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. We are going to pray goodness. You see how time just runs. There is a gentleman here. You are a member of Mountain of Fire. Where are you? Mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right mfm my friend you are serious you come from where mfm kano mfm kano how about yes. you Calabar. mfm calabar yes. how about you lagos lagos i want to pray i'm not saying if you are from mfm just come out like that they are particular people it doesn't matter what denomination you are from once you are here huh this is a universal this is a master key it will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of god is doing but i want to pray for you my friend i am going i'm first going to pray for you where are you from i'm from a quiet bomb state there is serious witchcraft sitting on your desk yes, i hope sir. you are not embarrassed yes sir yes huh? sir you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting yes, huh? yes, sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what i tell you yes, i'm going to pray for you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until it starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself. You need a lot of mentorship, but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. This brother you see is very serious with God. Huh? Very serious with God. You just need the right support, impartations, and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life. Hold my hand. Father, what's your name? Huh? Anthony. Tony, in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader dr daniel odikoya and i decree in the name of jesus be free now i decree by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh. I'm not saying I'm not on employment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Civil Service.
the Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you do I know you applied for a job stand up prophecy is powerful in a moment God can just change things like that my dear let me tell you this it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone huh? God is going to give you unusual influence it will marvel you Amen. are we together now hold my hands you believe what I'm telling you yes. father confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady let that rejected stone in the name of Jesus become the chief cornerstone receive of that grace in the name of Jesus I speak it so I make it so I establish it by the power of prophecy let me pray for you gentlemen I don't know if it's you or someone related to you but there's someone God is giving a job someone looking for a job but I want to pray for you father you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life let it give way now in the name of Jesus let it give way now even by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is showing me a lady I'm not going to ask you to come God bless you but I'm lifting up my hand I'm seeing you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face this is what I'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the Lord is saying I should pray that that veil be torn I don't know who that person is but right now the power of God is going there there, there are many of you I perceive in the name of Jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I declare that veil torn into pieces now torn into pieces now inside outside online torn into pieces now The last case I attend to and then we we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing. Many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two three months for reasons you cannot explain you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years as it comes you will see it sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream you may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you this is what i'm seeing the moment that thing happens it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down but i'm praying right now in the name of jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty i declare by the spirit of god be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what I'm seeing by the spirit 
this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things i'm not saying to run consciously i'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of god order in the church are we together the the hand of god now as i speak is coming upon you my soul longs and even thirst for you my heart and my flesh cries out for the living god for the living god incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face i'm burning longing for you I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit i shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down i take authority over it in the name of jesus go forward now i release your families to go forward now in the name of jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow to be then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we are going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you are yet to write your prayer request but adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers pr help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online i believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we're done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um 
at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand throne is established in justice and righteousness. Lord, you reign, King of the You are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign. Help me. We cry home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do Overflow 3. Since there will be several people there, Overflow 3. They will be ministering to Overflow 3. Benga will go to Overflow 1. Promise Overflow 1, 2. Um, Kenny Overflow 2. 2A now. Uh, 2A or 2B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow to be praise the lord ima overflow overflow what now what is left huh overflow the last overflow where the overflow for okay no overflow to be go to overflow for praise the lord it will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people I'll minister to the people here praise the Lord now please listen please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and I want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick as, prom as promised okay pastor alpha oh uh who is in overflow one only you two of you okay pastor alpha join them in overflow three Pastor Femi, uh -huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to, did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, Overflow 2, 2B, two okay, with, with Ima now, 2B or 4, you are in 2, only you, okay, so um, Femi, please join him in Overflow 4, Overflow 4, praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones let them know that god is moving right now he's blessing people lord we give you all the praise let there be great miracles by the spirit of god in jesus name i pray praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray I'd like you 
to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are here to submit I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus hallelujah please agree with me in the name of jesus amen. louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the mercies of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow these requests to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we break that hardness now. Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of god that these requests are met in jesus name as i stand upon these requests i declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the Spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt no going back in the name of Jesus between now and the next three weeks may the God of heaven in the name of Jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks
and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus give jesus praise hallelujah i'm going to declare the last prophetic one over everyone here please i like you to be sensitive don't be careless about it hallelujah please they can come and pick it i believe in the power of prophecy the spoken word is also creative it can make things happen it not only reveals what will happen it makes things that has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare over you please hear me by the god of heaven every door that has been closed over your destiny i stand here as the servant of the living god i force that door to open now everyone trusting god for a job a meaningful job not a nonsense job that does not have honor i pray now a job that will not take your relationship away from god a job that will not make you compromise receive that job in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life the kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season i speak over you receive fresh fire access to revelation access to light receive it in jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of god to come to pass i command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the lord i cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of jesus i cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life i speak to you by the spirit step into it let me pray for favor i will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames yeah. 
in the name of Jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life I declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me I speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I speak to you by the God of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of Jesus by the God who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this is prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as God is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come 
represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony in the next one minute whether you are in overflow one two three or here you are yet to make jesus lord of your life genuinely please no movement and or you are saying apostle i've handed my life over to jesus but for some reason things have just scattered around my life and i don't seem to gain any footing and bearing and i want to make my way right with god please whether you are in overflow one overflow two the main auditorium aside from overflow three please i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here right now koinonia celebrate them don't wait for anyone to come first quickly if you're coming please come and stand come and stand apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them quickly join them quickly koinonia is this the best you can do join them quickly scripture said you must be born again if you're coming from outside please make it snappy make it as fast as possible hallelujah i salute every one of you here please lift your right hand believe that jesus is here standing before you gentlemen and ladies please join them very quickly if you're coming please come quickly 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 you're coming come very quickly thank you now say this after me say it passionately say it truthfully believing that jesus is here and he will honor your confession of faith say after me lord jesus tonight i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I ask you to be my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I move forward ever, backward never these three ladies didn't pray the prayer somebody direct them and let them pray that prayer the prayer is already finished you this yellow girl and those two those my sisters or shall any of you are you not christians direct them someone pray the prayer with them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now begin to walk in victory in jesus name i introduce you to the ministry of the holy spirit you will know him you will walk in his ways you will command strange results in your life in the name of jesus christ i call you tonight the righteousness of god i call you that you are part of the family of heaven in the name of jesus all of the people who are just coming you're welcome god bless you just join that group that they are praying with and just pray the prayer that they lead you to pray in the name of jesus christ lord jesus thank you for these precious ones that you died for I decree and declare that tonight you receive by faith the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and i declare that you reign in life go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you all of you in concert i want you to follow the lady smiling at you with her hands lifted everyone please follow her and um, they will direct you to a few people to just follow you or praise the lord hello Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. 
As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.